What's going on, guys? This is Fast Derek here in the Everett 328 Production Studios for Moto Number 14 of the Moto Ohio Show here on April 21st, 2020. This week's show brought to you by the folks at the Ohio MX Pit Bike Riders and ANY Performance. Thanks, guys, for helping us out for the foreseeable future. Um, yeah, a lot of things have been uh, unveiled since last week. Last week, uh, here in the Everett 328 Production Studios, we talked about why Loretta Lynn's 2020 is not going to work and just as predicted the things things are continuing to um come full circle with my predictions last week and even prior to that but i'm going to take just a second pause that turn the back and turn that up there we go background music back in action um, but before we get too far away make sure you guys smash that subscribe button hit give us a like and drop us a comment as i am watching both the moto ohio shows post here in the everett 328 production studios and i'm paying attention this time i've got the everett 328 productions post watching that as well for all comments um, that you guys are going to be posting in throughout the show um, but this week's show we're going to talk more about why Loretta Lynn's 2020 is not going to work, and we have had some more announcements since last week. Um, last week, we were talking about why it's not going to work, and continuing on that subject, we are already, at the end of April, qualifiers at this point were already postponed through the end of April, and now MX Sports is now postponing the qualifiers at the beginning of May. So... Things are going to be changing for the Red Lens 2020 as they have already postponed the first few qualifiers that they were scheduled for in May. And they're going to try to ram jam all of those qualifiers in the first week of May all the way to the first week of June. So with those with that weekend now out of the out of the question, we're looking at the qualifier for the northeast region at High Point, southeast at Lazy River. I was going to go down there to Lazy River for that qualifier, but I am now not going to be making that trip. Um, they had a qualifier at Baja for the Mideast region, Sunset Ridge in Illinois. They had one at Swan MX in Texas, Eugene MX in Oregon, and Fox Raceway in Pala, California. So all of those qualifiers have now been postponed or and or canceled i want to say canceled and or postponed we do not know if those races are going to be rescheduled we don't know if those races are going to be super regional races or part of the super regional format in option number c that was um brought to our attention a few weeks ago by uh tim cotter with mx sports um so we are already leaning on to the option c as the qualifiers are already getting postponed or canceled even more. So, Loretta Lynn's 2020, as I predicted a while a while ago and made some more predictions last weekend, I just don't think Loretta Lynn's 2020 is going to work this year. Um, I want it to work, but as I was saying last week in the show, we can't negate people's accomplishments to this point. Are we just going to say the people that have already made it through qualifiers before the nation has been shut down due to the COVID crisis? Are we just going to take those guys' accomplishments and throw them out the window and start from square one and try to squeeze things in in the super regional format and Loretta's only? But that takes out they've already made accomplishments. If everybody's going to go straight to the super regional format, they may get a buy in one of the races. I don't know what the overall grand scheme of it is, but people have already qualified you have to take that into consideration period because if you don't then you're saying what you have accomplished it doesn't matter because we're starting from square one and everybody's going to have a now everybody that didn't make it at those qualifiers are going to have a chance now so i don't think that that is the most even option the super qualifier format it may lead on, lean on option D with the Super Super Loretta's format with the two-week amateur national championship. I, I again with option C, I just don't see how that is a fair option for any anybody that has already tried to qualify in those regions. I just don't see it being a very fair a very fair playing field across the board. So I still don't think that Loretta Lynn's 2020 is going to work but at this point in time as for race team or race leadership team RLT um, they have posted that all of those qualifiers are still they're not going to happen so what's next we're gonna 
have to do something. And at the end of the show last week, I made the, the pretty bold statement that 2020 is nothing more than an exhibition year for the amateur riders. I don't want it to have to come to that. I would love to see an amateur national championship of some caliber, you know, after the COVID crisis, if it does, you know, end across the country, squeeze some qualifiers in, squeeze some regionals in, and then have an amateur national championship outside of the ranch. Just because you're the king of the ranch, you should be the king of anywhere if you're the championship or if you're the champion across the country. So I don't see the necessity to have the race at Loretta's. It has to be at a facility that can um, that has the infrastructure to accommodate the number of riders that are going to come to it. That is unquestioned. You have to have a racetrack that's going to be able to handle 5,000 riders, 5,000 people more. It's going to be a packed house, regardless, for the Amateur National Championship. Where is it going to happen? I say it doesn't have to be at Loretta's. Just because it's been there in the past doesn't mean that it's going to have to be there this year. Again, I have zero, zero eggs in this basket. I am just the voice of Ohio motocross and trying to get you guys all the news and everything that I can. And I'm giving you the news that we're probably not going to have regionals or excuse me, not going to have qualifiers anytime soon. No qualifiers, squeezed regionals. It may be a fun racing format going to the super regionals. I've said that before. It will be an absolute blast going there and watching the group of riders that you want to go and watch and compete against. It'd be an absolute blast to be there for a long weekend and just watch some great racing action. But I just don't see that it is the most fair of the options giving people's accomplishments to this point. That's my two cents. What are we going to do? We're going to get on two wheels and we're going to ride where we can, where it's safe to ride. And at this point in time, we are looking at the first week of May. Fingers crossed that we'll be getting back on the racetrack here in Ohio. Things may change. We do not know. They may make some more announcements at 2.30 or 2 o'clock or whatever, whatever time our governor has his his get-togethers on social media and talks the state of the state. I don't know. We'll see. Um, at this point in time, though, we're looking like we're going to get riding again the first weekend of May in groups at racetracks. And at this point in time, Sandusky Valley Riders has posted that they are going to be hosting the, quote, season opener since... We couldn't race at Malvern last month. That pretty much leaves Sandusky Valley as being the season opener. And I would love to go out there to SVR. It's a club, but that racetrack is absolutely beautiful. They have a beautiful facility out there at SVR. It is, let me see if I can't find some more information for you guys. That is in Sycamore, Ohio. They're going to be having practice on Saturday, 9 to 3. That is May 2nd and May 3rd. Practice at 9 with the racing immediately following 25 bucks for the first class, 15 for the second class, $10 gate fee. Go there and have some fun. SVR, it's a great place to go and not only spin some great laps, but also hang out with some friends. And that is what we really want to do at this point in time is hang out with all of our racing buddies because we haven't been able to do that. We have been wanting to go to the racetrack, but every time we want to go to the racetrack, the plug is pulled. But things are starting to look like they're going to turn around the first weekend of May. And Sandusky Valley Riders, I am really hoping to get out there. I'm gonna do a little bit more research while I am on the air. If um, Jack Dill, Scott Plessinger, if you guys are watching, let me know the state of the Buckeye series down there in Southwest Ohio. Let me know what is going on. What do you guys have in store? I've gotta know if you guys are racing down there in early May, let me know. I have to know if you guys are spinning some laps because I got to spread the word to you guys. Um, but I'm just going to take a quick second and um, check out some comments. Uh, Bichetta Creek is racing the first weekend in May. Don't forget the Buckeye Series tracks. Thank you, Lonnie. You answered my question probably before you're even going to hear it on the um, the Facebook post. So thank you, Lonnie Stinson. Pachetta Creek, the first weekend of May. That is the same weekend as SVR. They're going to be having the season opener for the Buckeye Series. Race Ohio. If you're going to be racing, race in Ohio. 
we've got a ton of great tracks. We've got kind of, we'll say the old school D12, Northeast Ohio, and the old school D11, Southwest Ohio. They're not really AMA districts anymore, but it's still kind of the Battle of Ohio. I mean, we have the best racetracks from Southwest and the best, and then the best racetracks from Northeast um, racing the first weekend of May. Fingers crossed, as long as things are going the way that we want them to go. So thank you, Lonnie, for, for chiming in. Um, yeah, where is Kevin? Where is our uh, fearless co-host, the Grip It, Rip It, Kevin Ott? I mean, if you guys are familiar with the Moto Ohio show, I am still here all by myself. Uh, typically, we have Kevin Ott here in the studio with us, but you know, due to the COVID crisis and um, practicing the social distancing in which we are told to do, Kevin is not joining me here in the studio until it is going to be until it's safe to do so. So we are all playing it safe and doing what we are supposed to do to promote what we were supposed to promote. But it just sucks that we're not going to be at the racetrack this weekend. We all want to go ride our dirt bikes, but we have to follow what we have to follow. And I did see that or excuse me, East Fork, Scott Blessinger's place down there in Southwest Ohio was open this past weekend. And I did see a couple of people spending some laps. And I do know that Scott Blessinger, he is doing everything by the books and making sure that he is making sure everybody is safe and practicing proper uh, protective equipment and everybody is parking a proper distance away from one another. So I really, uh, really hats off to Scott Blessinger for putting the extra effort in to have the facility open and allow some people a place to ride. Thumbs up. Thank you, Scott. Um, Sandusky Valley Riders Race Bikes. I believe that is a bikes only race. So uh, let me double double check on that for you. Um, I do want to say that SVR is a bikes only race. So um, yeah, thank Mike. Unfortunately, it I gotta get a, gotta get you guys a place to race on four wheels. So hopefully, hopefully the cliff will be open at some point in time. Um, looks like once again I'm having some technical difficulties here in the studio. So it looks like my feed has went out and just like it did last week. So if you guys can still see me, great. I can't see myself, but that's okay. I don't want to watch myself anyhow. It's a little bit distracting. Um, but back to the show. Um, we've talked about Loretta's. Hopefully it'll happen. Hopefully. Hopefully something will happen for our amateur national championship, but at this point in time, things are still getting postponed. Still, things things are still getting delayed. But things are looking for things are looking up here in Ohio. Looks like we're going to be back to the racetrack first weekend in May. Looks like we are going to be having some fun with our friends finally, as long as the um, the social distancing ban has been lifted. We'll be back to having some fun. Things are looking up here in Ohio. I do want to take a quick second, and this week's show brought to you by the folks at the Ohio MX Pit Bike Riders. Go on to their Facebook page. Give uh, Sean Lowe, the Pit Bike Doctor, a shout. If you guys are looking for any pit bike parts or accessories, or if you guys are looking to get a new steed for the 2020 season, definitely give uh, Sean Lowe or Dustin Silvis, the two members of the Pit Bike Doctor crew, the Ohio MX Pit Bike Riders. Definitely give those guys a shout. They will get you back on pit bikes having some fun during this downtime if you guys are wanting to know um the performance of some of these new pit bikes uh check out my wife's facebook page she took a uh, easter video um of me on the pister pro fse 110 ripping around the yard and putting some laps in <laughs> so those things are pretty legit so give those guys a shot if you guys are looking to have some fun on two wheels aoi performance helping us out for the foreseeable future they are doing their 300 dollars bike prep takes your bike all the way down to the frame, greases all the bearings, changes the oil, changes the oil filter, cleans the air filter, and deems your bike race ready. So give Sierra a shout with AMI Performance for that $300. That's pretty cheap. Race bike or race prep special from the folks at AMI Performance. Also, these, this week's show and the next few weeks' shows uh, brought to you by the folks at Smooth Speed MX. Thank you, Corey, for putting the time and effort in. If you guys need your wheels trued, or if you guys need a new set of sneakers put on those wheels, give Corey with Smooth Speed MX a shout. He's uh, available on Facebook. I got his link posted in the description. I also want to give Bob Harrington with Pro Action in Northern Ohio a quick shout. Um, revalving and resetting up. 
It doesn't matter what you guys need done to your forks or your shock. He can do anything from revalves, resprings, or race setups. So if you need your suspension tuned for the upcoming season, give Bob Harrington the Pro Action Northern Ohio a shout. Also, give a huge shout out to Action Extreme Sports. I'm your park, parts manager down there. If you guys are wanting to get some parts and accessories to get your bike back out there on the racetrack for the 2020 season, give me a call down there at Action Extreme Sports. Check out these Slater Flow Vision goggles here in the Everett 328 Production Studios. Those are available from the folks at Flow Vision Company. Their link available in the description. Also, want to give a, a shout out to the folks at Tar Design. If you guys need banners, stickers graphics any of your graphical needs screen printing it he can do anything tar designs down there in zanesville he can get you guys looking fly for the 2020 season and also defines the lifestyles i've got these awesome pit shirts these awesome announcer shirts um Rob Baumgart and the crew from defines the lifestyles puts these things together and they have discount code everett 328 boom right there Everett 328 is your discount code to save 25% at checkout, and they also have their five t-shirts for $19 special going on right now. So check out all of those folks that support us here in the Everett 328 Production Studios for the Moto Ohio Show. You can check out their links in the description below. Back to racing. Things are looking up here in Ohio, but things are also looking up for the pro riders. I don't know if you guys have seen, but the Supercross series might be back in action. That is, if the two-week quarantine has been lifted out there in Glendale, Arizona. Because at this point in time, they are proposing racing in Glendale to wrap up the 2020 Monster Energy Supercross season. Looks like they are planning Friday nights and Monday night races. Football format for the 2020 Monster Energy Supercross. They're gonna be trying to be racing those races in that Glendale arena on Friday nights and Monday nights, changing the tracks between races, wrapping up um, six races in three weeks and then squeezing that seventh race in sometime in June. So the Supercross series might be wrapping up sooner than we were expecting it to. That being said, it's gonna be made for TV. There's gonna be no spectators. There's gonna be minimal people in attendance. There is gonna be nothing really special to watch except for the people on two wheels, which is what we are watching for. So as long as the two week quarantine gets lifted out there in Glendale, we're gonna see some pro riders on two wheels again. A couple of weeks ago, somebody per Somebody uh, asked me, do you think that the privateers are going to have an advantage now that everybody is riding? And I don't. I don't see that the privateers are going to come out um, and be any more or less competitive than they were whenever they were racing before the COVID crisis hit. So I don't see that the privateers are going to have an advantage, per se. Everybody's going to be out there racing with a full head of steam, healthy, and ready to have some fun on two wheels. So everybody is going to be at an even playing field. The privateers, they're going to be extra driven to put forth a good effort to maybe have somebody fly their flag for the 2021 season. I don't think that any advantage is going to go to the privateers as a result of what's going on. Hey, what's going on? Dave Drakes with the Collective Experience joining us in the uh, Moto Ohio show. I got to meet him when I went out there to um, the Red Bull Straight Rhythm. So Dave Drakes, awesome. Thank you for joining in for the Moto Ohio show, Moto number 14 of the Moto Ohio show. Um, but back to the Supercross talk. At this point in time, they're still trying to squeeze in those Supercross races uh, the first weekend in May, maybe the second weekend there in May, and wrapping up the Supercross sometime in June. They're not going to get all of the, I believe, nine races that were remaining in as they've already um, officially canceled the Salt Lake City race and officially canceled the Las Vegas race. So those two races are down, and I believe that remains, or re that leaves seven races to race for the 2020 Monster Energy Supercross. So we could potentially see that wrapping up in May, early June. I am excited to watch these guys spend some laps because it just kind of all came to a screeching halt um, about a month ago, a little over a month ago. And it's been a real heartbreaker that we haven't been able to watch 
two wheels. We always were looking forward to watching the Supercross race on Saturday nights. And now there's nothing to watch. That alone is terrible. So, hopefully we'll be back to racing in May. That is, it. that's our, that's our goal. We're not gonna be racing qualifiers the first weekend of May. We're not gonna be racing qualifiers the second weekend of May. Yeah. No qualifiers the first weekend of May. No qualifiers the second weekend of May. That's pretty official because they've already canceled the qualifiers, as I, as I mentioned earlier, all the way through that second weekend of May. And if they do that now, will they cancel the third weekend in May? And then all the qualifiers in May? I don't know. Time will tell. But we want to ride. We want to ride. We want to compete. We want to have fun. We want to ride with our friends. So... Let's hope that we can get back to racing sometime in May. As of right now, it is looking good for the pros to finish off their Supercross series through May and June, as long as the ban has been lifted. At this point in time, it looks like they're just playing things by ear based on that Glendale region. And as I mentioned last weekend in mode number 13 of the show, it looks like the country is going to be opening up in a region by region basis. And if we're opening up in a region by region basis, we're not gonna have national championships. We're gonna have regional championship when it comes to whatever we decide to do for the 2020 season. If they're gonna keep some areas shut down, we're not gonna be able to have races there. If we keep some areas shut down across the country, we're not gonna have the national caliber of riders potentially that are gonna be competing for that championship you're going to have to travel to go to these safe to race areas I just don't see that it's going to work this year if you guys have any opinion chime in Skyler SVR May 2nd odds of that being cancelled I I'm hoping it's not Skyler I'm really hoping that that race is not cancelled but it's all going to, like I said, it's all going to be on a region by region basis. And if region, and if the Ohio region is deemed safe to race, well, hell yeah, we're going to be there at SVR on the May 2nd. But if the governor still deems that the quarantine continues, then that basically means that Ohio is not safe to race. So then I would see us not racing on September 2nd, or excuse me, May 2nd, May 3rd. It is all out of my hands, out of the OMA's hands, out of the Buckeye Series folks' hands. It's all in the hands of the ones down in Columbus. And we'll see whenever the next few weeks continue because we are only have about, it's only two weeks until, only two weeks until um, SVR. So things are going to have to uh, happen quick. Sean? Never lands free this weekend. If you guys want to spend some laps on a pretty awesome racetrack, head down to Neverland down there outside of Newark, Ohio. Um, I did have the chance to go out there at one point in time. I was the only person there spinning some laps, but you know what? That did not take away from the fun. Maintained my, so or my social distancing. I was away from everybody. Just me and the wife went down there and had some fun. And that racetrack's fun. If you guys just want to get some laps in, looks like Neverland uh, is free this weekend down there for pit bikes so get a hold of sean with the ompr back to the pro guys with the uh national motocross campaign it still looks like things are as planned i guess you want to call it at this point in time that they're going to try to keep on racing um the pro motocross guys 11 rounds still through the 13th of June through, the, through September 5th, kicking things off at the WW Ranch down there in Jacksonville, Florida. So at this point in time, it still looks like they are planning on running the Pro Motocross campaign as planned. And that very well could be as planned because that's, that's over a month out from now. That's about a month and a half out from now. So things, things are looking positive for the for the pro motocross schedule so things looking up things looking down here in ohio and nationwide for the 2020 
national championships, supercross, professional motocross, and even local. Things are looking up and down. We just don't know. And this is a very weird time for not only the motocross community, but for everyone. This is a very foreign feeling for everyone. Everyone is in this boat together, and the best thing we can do is just keep on rowing. Keep staying afloat, keep having fun on two wheels when and where we can to maintain, you know, maintain our stamina and maintain the fun factor on those two wheels. So, I don't really, I don't really have any uh, wrapping statements. Um, I do want to thank everybody that has joined us here in the Everett 328 Production Studios for Moto Number 14 of the Moto Ohio Show. Hey, Janelle. Um, hey, Randy Karn and George Pugh. Uh, thanks, Sean, for uh, being here. Thanks, Dustin. Uh, thanks, Lonnie Stinson. Thanks, Mike Polak. Dave Drakes, thank you for joining in. Um, it was awesome meeting you out there in Cali, and I hope to see you guys again. I um, want to catch up with some of the folks here in the Everett 328 Production Studios. Thanks, Dominic McFarland, for joining in. Thanks, Ronnie Farmer. Um, there, if you guys want to race some indoor races next winter, check out the 2020-2021 Tri-State Arena Cross Championship. Things are definitely looking up for that. Um, thanks, Devin Simonson, for chum for chiming in, and thanks, Chumpy, for chiming chiming in as well. Thank you, everybody, for joining us for Moto Number 14 of the Moto Ohio Show. I am just kind of wrapping things up. Um, just want to read a couple of comments here. Fall Bill Bader's lead. He's opening Norwalk in May. Um, let's open the local tracks like Malvern, etc. Can't live in fear. I agree, we can't live in fear, but we have to do things safely. We don't want to push too many buttons, because if we push too many buttons, things can get shut down, and we don't want to pull the plug on some of the fun places to have fun on two wheels, or four wheels. So I don't want to push the issue too much. It is these track promoters' discretion whether they want to push the issue or not. And Scott Plessinger, he is doing things by the book, and it looks like uh, Bill Bader's lead. Um, he's opening Norwalk in May, so... Hopefully he is doing things as he is supposed to to make sure he is safe to ride. Um, thanks, Bobby, for chiming in. Um, does anybody have any questions? I'll leave it at that. Does anybody have any questions at this point in time? Does anybody have any fears? Does anybody have any worries for the 2020 season? I have tons of worries, but we're just going to keep on living this day by day buying awesome parts to put on those awesome bikes to get them race ready when we can go race let's just um stay positive through what we're hoping is the remaining portions of this covid pandemic things are hopefully lifting up the the announcements have been made pretty much across the state that the schools have been shut down excuse me for the class of 2020 so I believe they're going to have some sort of remote graduation procedure. So that's a negative that we're not going to have our kids walking across the stage for the graduation. It's going to be the one of the first times that ha that has ever happened across the country and even across the state. Even, I should reverse that statement across the country, across the state and across the country. So it's different. Things are weird. Things are unforeseeable at this point at this point in time but we're just going to keep our heads up and still wanting to have fun um but i do want to thank all of our sponsors for helping us out for moto number 14 of the moto ohio show the folks down there at the ohio mx pit bike riders a and y performance smooth speed mx pro action northern ohio action extreme sports flow vision goggles tar designs and defiance lifestyles utilizing that code everett 328 once again if anybody has any questions hit me now or forever hold your hold your peace um because I'm wrapping up here for Moto Number 14, the Moto Ohio Show, hitting you guys really quickly this week with all of the updates and changes that have happened since last week. And once again, I still don't think that Loretta's 2020 is going to happen or is going to work. Or I, it may happen, but it may not work, in my opinion. Travis McQueen with SRI Suspension chimed in very a lot in the past. Um, also had Meister chime in in the past that if option D were to happen where we were to scrap the qualifiers, scrap the regionals, and have a two-week amateur national championship down there at the ranch, then we're going to have more boots on the ground in option D down there in Hurricane Mills, Tennessee than we have ever had before. 
that could be a show, not a not a pretty show, if you guys are catching my drift. So option D, mm, that one just might not work. I just don't see the two week amateur national championship with no um, what's the words I'm looking for? No weeding out process having everybody that would have gone to their qualifiers and regionals come down there to Loretta Lynn's for the amateur national championship for a two-week race it'd be fun but can you park everybody can everybody listen to all the announcements can everybody pay attention can everybody get in and out of there safely can we have anything go smoothly for the two-week amateur national championship they could probably make it happen but will it be a success Will the three regionals in one region super regional format work? Will it be fair? I don't think so. So, leaving you guys some things to think about for next week. Hopefully some more things will um, daylight themselves. Hopefully we'll have some more information on whether we will be or will not be racing that first weekend of May. And if we are, I will be one of the first people to let you guys know. I will have a quick pop-up show or whatever to let you guys know anything so it's been an honor being here in the ever 328 production studios once again this is fast derek joining you for moto number 14 of the moto ohio show here on april 21st 2020 any last statements from any of you guys i'll comment i'll answer the comments after the feed has ended but that is all that i have for moto number 14 thanks again guys join us next week for moto number 15 of the moto ohio show